Okay, we are going to install a new MAF, Mass Air Flow Sensor. That's M-A-F, Mass Air Flow Sensor. And to do that, we need to dink around with the air cleaner. And inside the air cleaner is This here is the mass airflow sensor and you see it here and on the other side you can see a small tiny little resistor in there and uh, over here is a second one and there is a small current in there that heats that and then the heating and cooling from the air rushing through it as the engine accelerates, decelerates, goes up and down in val val uh, altitude, changes the resistance in the wire by the amount of cooling, and uh, the computer compensates for that. So we are going to remove this, and it has two Torx uh, screws, security Torx screws, and I believe it is a uh, Torx, uh, let me take a look here, Torx uh, 20 and we're going to just take it apart screws are in there fairly well new one made by Delphi, got it at Napa. The Napa price is a hundred and seventy four bucks and they have it in stock. Otherwise I would have had to have gone to O'Reilly's and uh, O'Reilly's had it for hundred and fifty four dollars. But it was about seven days to get it from the warehouse in Texas and um, I wasn't willing to wait that long. So, I bought the Napa one, and there we go. So there is an O-ring in here, make sure that that stays. A little O-ring on that too. And that is it. This one is uh, the original, has about 25 years and uh, possibly up to 275,000 miles on it. So it is probably time. So let's uh, go over here. And here is the new one, Delphi Technologies for the 2000 F250 5.4 liter engine. It is an AF10131. And once you break the seal, it's yours. No return. All right. Let's go for it. Obviously, be careful not to drop or damage this in any way. And so you can see that the resistors are nice and clean. Looks very similar. This is supposed to be the highest quality one. So, here we go. Let's shove this baby back. And... It goes in with the uh, resistor facing forward. So air goes through here, and then you see there's an extension here, and air draws out by venturi force 
on the back side. draws the air through it. Okay, so let's put our screws in. Hopefully you can hear me okay. It's a bit windy. Okay, and as you see here, <clears throat> there's a arrow, airflow that way. And you want to make sure that you have it in the correct way. Let us plug it back in. And you can see that there are some uh, tabs on there that uh, slip into place. So you want to align those tabs with uh, what's inside. And so you can feel one here and one there. Uh, so that's what you're trying to do is hit those tabs and you want it, see how the uh, airflow sensor is in there horizontally. And that is the position you want to put it back in. Pay attention to things when you take them apart. Come on, let's get yourself back in there. There we go. Okay. So we are back in. And, uh, yeah, you got to it's a little bit of a pull to get that out but it unsnaps you can put a screwdriver in through here and uh, release it okay and then just for kicks let's see what the air cleaner filter looks like yeah not too bad um, it's only about a uh, six months ago that I put that in so I'm just gonna roll that to the other side Put the um, filter back on here and it goes over that and then the spring clamp goes back over there and presto all right so that is how you change a mass airflow sensor very simple um, you can get a cheaper mass airflow sensor than what I got uh, like I don't know 50 bucks but you pay for quality right at least that's uh, the way I was brought up okay so let me uh, pause this and what we're going to do next if I can get this uh, socket back in the hole I had to buy this set of security um, Torx bits you see how they have a hole in them and you have to get the Torx 20 security bit to be able to loosen up the screws holding the mass airflow sensor in okay um, so the next thing up is the oxygen sensors and this truck 2000 f250 5.4 liter it has two of them both are upstream 
and some stores are confused they will tell you that you've got four of them two up and two down and this tr truck uh, maybe the f-150s and maybe california and a couple of other states do but um, this truck does not have four it only has the two upstream mass airflow or i'm sorry oxygen sensors and this one's different from the bosch this is the um Denso. And the difference between the Denso and Bosch is the Denso, you see all the holes in there, and the Bosch has slits that run the length, and there's like three or four slits on the Bosch. So um, these, uh, these are thought to be the better performing oxygen sensors, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so I have to get a wrench for that. Uh, looks like about a 7 8 or 17 millimeters or something like that. I have to find my wrenches. So uh, it's easy to change the oxygen sensors. There are two of them. And you might just be able to see one. Yeah, if you look down there you can just see the one coming off the back side of that exhaust pipe and uh, then the other one you might be able to just see it no you won't see it from here you might be able to see it nope you won't see that one until I climb under. Yep. So, okay, let's uh, pause the video until I am ready to climb under and do that one. Okay? So, hey, we are having fun. Hang on. All right, so now we are going to do the oxygen sensors. Position this a little better. All right, now that is the Denso oxygen sensor, and this is Denso copper anti seize. Okay, so we are going to apply anti seize. Go on, get off of there. Stupid thing. When in doubt, exact to knife it out. Okay. So let us put the ATCs in here generously. Can't hear you. Okay. Yeah, just spread it around. Share the wealth. Okay. Let's go down below and pull these and to remove it. So there's a little tab here that you depress and that will release the plug, okay? <clears throat> there's the sensor, so keep an eye on that. Seven eighths inch wrench. And out she goes. And let us pull the plug.
there is the Bosch one. It's got a little black on it, a little white on one side, black on the other, and you can see how it has the slits, not the holes, okay? So let us put the new one in. Remember, this one has holes, not slits. See there? Okay. Got a uh, crush type washer. Okay. Let's see if I can get my big mitts up here. go. That's the left side, now let's get the right side. So, it's funny, this one's got a much longer cord. Anyway, um, yeah, so you see they're both four wired. <clears throat> O2 sensors, and you can see the difference in them. The Bosch has the slits, the Denso has the holes. So the Denso has a much better flow over the sensor to get a reading. All right, so let's put our Denso sauce on the threads. This is, uh, looks like a copper anti-seize. Now the right side is more difficult to get to than the left. slightly higher reach and on the uh, 
dark side of the moon, so to speak. But it's all right, we'll be done shortly. <laughs> this one's a little more of a bugger because it's in a hard to reach spot and it's uh, not interested in turning. Good gravy. Let me get this screwed in first. got it after a lot of struggle and the only way you could reach that plug is to jam your hand arm up in the gap between the frame and the exhaust pipe and then push all the way up You finally smash the meat of your arms in there sufficient enough to be able to get up far enough. And then you end up looking like this and like that. I'll show your face. Oh, and even <laughs> my face. But fortunately, I got the job done. Uh, that is awfully bright light. Okay, so. <clears throat> that is how you change a mass airflow sensor and two oxygen sensors. And uh, so here again is another Bosch oxygen sensor. And you see how it has slits and the Denso has uh, holes drilled all through it. So it just looks like the Denso is gonna have a much better exposure 
to what it's trying to decide is the proper oxygenation. All right. Well, that was more fun than I was expecting to have. Took longer because of the difficulty factors. Um, but we're done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. A lot of this will be cut out and simplified. I will see you on the next exciting video. <laughs> Repair from the road. How many repairs is that now? The water pump, the fuel injector, the contaminated water sickness for a few days, um, the O2 sensors, the MAF sensor, and still trying to decide if I need to um, put a new right valve cover in. I was getting a lot of uh, coolant drippage and um, uh, oil drip, but it seems to have all gone away now, mysteriously. Okay, um, see you on the next. Thanks. Come here. You got cat hair on the way. Let me just take your picture. You got like crap all over your oh, face. That's all right. Hold your hands up. Oh. And put them in closer to you because I can't get that way. Okay, one, two, three, smile. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> okay, here. What am I doing? Just pointing at me. And is it recording right now? It is recording. Okay, so uh, I guess I didn't cut myself. I scuffed myself, though. Mr. Mechanic. Okay, here we go. Bump of the truth. Ignition key. I think somebody needs a shower tonight. Yay. All right, sounds good. This new $234 toy was indispensable on finding things <coughs> way in back of the engine where you can't see them. Okay. Plus, it uh, will help you tell if you've been brushing the backs of your teeth or not. Yeah, I know. I'll stick it down your throat. Or well, maybe not now after it's been inside the engine. And you can hear it's got a very nice, smooth idle. It smells good too, as far as exhaust goes. It's alive! <laughs> that last uh, right side oxygen sensor was a real pain to reach. As you might be able to tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, just finished. Just finished. Oh. Oh. Hey. And here is our friendly neighborhood Napa guy who went to town and got me the parts. Denso and. Well, when he told me that he I, oh, yeah. was, I was over there all day yesterday that's working funny. on my parents' RV. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, I get... They were on their way to Illinois from Arizona. Uh, okay, so that's it. I'm signing off. Yeah.